Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's not quite the R9 Ronaldo cover star icon leak that we were hoping to see, but there's a massive leak for one of those cover star icons that is coming as an SBC very soon. And it might be very easy to craft this very expensive SBC because of some changes, of course, coming to footies as soon as tomorrow. So we're going to take a look at that. And today's a big day, a massive day in terms of XP and objectives, because today we'll have some people hitting level 40 for the first time, getting that footies premium Vinicius Jr. card. That's going to be so insane. There's a lot to talk about today with Rivals Rewards as well. So if you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you're new. We're going to go straight into yesterday's content as we always do. And we're going to SBCs first. My biggest question of yesterday is, where is our player SBC that we voted on EA Sports? Because we have an Angel Gomez footies card, but this is not the player SBC we were expecting. We were expecting a 99 passing center midfielder, but instead, here we have an Angel Gomez left wing in the League One, English links, five star skills, four star weak foot, five foot six. He can play striker as well. If you remember, this Gomez had a fantasy foot card earlier on this year that was absolutely incredible. I think a lot of us did. That might have been an SBC as well. Uh, here we are with another Angel Gomez SBC. Decent card, decent links. It's not a premium. Of course, we always like the premium cards over the regular footies versions. Only 72,000 coins to complete. Not bad, but... Not that many people are excited about it at this stage of the game. Yes, it's a good card, but I'm glad that it's cheap because it's just not that insane. But our big question is, where's our other footies SBC that we voted on? And why did that not drop yesterday? And why did we have this instead? So maybe we'll get that today. Maybe we're not getting it until later on. Question marks all around because we did not have that 99 overall passing upgrade on a center mid. Maybe that's today. We'll have to see. But other than that, yesterday we did have the return of the 93 plus player pick but they actually brought it out in a new and refreshed way. Now, we can't do this one multiple times. They can only do it once, but EA made it more expensive because they added in the footies team four cards. You can pack all three teams of shapeshifters and all four teams of footies from this player pick, which is why it is a little bit more expensive, which I think was just, you know, a lot of people saw that and they were like, nah, I don't want to do a more expensive player pick. But if you're just trying to pack a big time footies card, I actually saw footies popping from this player pick more often than any of the 93 pluses that we have seen thus far. And it makes sense because there are more players inside of that player pool to pack. So if you're going to take a gamble on a big time SBC, this is the one to do if you're trying to hit one of the highest rated footies cards possible. The footies heroes are also packable from this um, I think uh, actually yeah I got four line from this yesterday a lot of people were seeing heroes pop up in the player pick it does not include the shapeshifter icons but it does include the footies heroes and because of this we did see a little bit of movement on the market in terms of fodder especially with those team of the weeks and team of the seasons there was of course some lazy sales to be had as people were out buying higher rated informs and some of those team of the seasons with that 89 rated squad requiring that but now, once again, informs are back down under 20K. They were up at about 23, 24K yesterday, I think, at their highest point, with the higher rated ones, of course, going up even higher. And we're headed into a Rivals Rewards time frame today where I think a lot of these prices could go even lower. So we're going to talk about that a bit more at the end of today's video with the market. But that wasn't even the biggest thing from yesterday's content on Wednesday. EA made a very confusing change. I can't even like, what's the word to describe this? This just does not make sense. It's inexcusable is what it is. We got all excited on Tuesday, right? With the foot champions bonus. All we had to do was use three footies players, get four wins or eight wins in weekend league to get those extra 85 times tens and the group reward. Now, yesterday, randomly, EA decided to change it so that it is no longer three footies players, but you have to win four champs matches with a Premier League three player set in your team and then also eight with three League One players. It just it kind of takes the fun out of it. It's not even that massive of a change. If you think about it, you could technically put three Premier League and three League One players in your starting 11 and then get both of these done at the same time. If you play a full weekend league and get, let's say, nine or 11 wins, you would be able to get this objective completed. But it's still just annoying because we had it seemed very open and very fun. Like, hey, just use three footies in your team and boom, you'll be able to get these extra rewards. But now it's like, OK, now I have to actually build my team around these different different leagues like the bonus um, objectives have been in the past. And I think that's just something where it's like, hey, EA made something really fun and then they pull it back and change it like out of nowhere 
into something that's not as fun and it's more restrictive and less free, right? You have less freedom in your squad building and use three footies players versus, oh, you have to use these players from certain leagues. That's disappointing. I don't understand why EA did that. Big L. Um, that no, makes no sense. Like, let us have fun with these footies cards. You're dropping them in objectives and SBCs in packs. We can get them very easily. It just doesn't make sense. So that was the biggest L from here. They don't know why they did that especially at this late stage of the game. And they did once again also have some fun with a goalkeeper whose name is Saban. Toby Saban, uh, English goalkeeper. He's probably not worth putting in your starting 11 unless it's for the banter like EA is kind of releasing this card for. 61 reactions I'm hearing on his in-game stats. Uh, it's probably not going to be the best goalkeeper in game so that's that but still some fun 94 rated fodder i guess you could say from ea and that was all the content yesterday not a really crazy day but that 93 plus player pick was probably the most exciting thing out of yesterday's content now what really trumped all of that and is getting us more excited right now of what's to come in footies is this right here the big leak from yesterday we have two but the biggest one is zidane is coming as a cover star icon, and the prediction shows Zidane as a 99 rated player. Now, once again, I'm going to say it. This is a prediction, guys. This is probably not an exact leak of his stats on his card, but once again, I feel like we say it every day this past week that the cover star icons have been getting absolutely juiced because EA is really driving the hype right now with these SBCs and these objective cards that they are putting out, the cover star icons. And the reason why Zidane shown as a, as a 99 is really not too far out of the question is, think about his best card in the game right now. 97 rated Zidane, which is 1.6 million coins on the market which I'm sure upon this leak yesterday, as it did, dropped from about 2 million coins down to about 1.4, and now he's back up a little bit. I mean, a plus one on a Zidane at this stage of the game, and with how big of the boost they've been giving these cards, a 99 rated is not out of question. Do I think EA will do it? I don't know. They've saved the 99 rated cards for impacts only so far during footies. I hope they change it up and give this Zidane a 99 rated item. I just don't know what the likelihood of that is. Is. I hope it's true, but you know, it's EA. So I could very well see a 98 rated card being released here as well. Now, also, like, Nate, what's the uh, price of this going to be? It's going to be really expensive, right? Well, it's probably going to mirror an SBC very similar to the Ronaldinho, right? Ronaldinho with 33 squads. Uh, Rooney had a lot of squads as well. I forget how many he had. 13 squads. That's nowhere near 33 like it was for Ronaldinho, of course. But I have to imagine that a player of this caliber, like Zidane, is probably going to come in around a similar type of price as Ronaldinho, but hopefully cheaper, right? Again, we just looked at the Trophy Titans version of Zidane, which is like 1.6, 1.7 mil, or at least was somewhere around 2 million coins when uh, the, this leak was put out. I'd have to imagine that a 99 Zidane or even a 98 Zidane would probably still, still come somewhere in the realm of about around 3 million coins to complete. And if I had to guess a number of squads, maybe around 25 squads. So it's not going to be cheap, guys. It's going to be an absolutely insane grind you're going to have to undergo to get this card done. And a lot of us have been doing Dino, have been doing Rooney and these other big time SBCs. So we're completely rinsed of fodder. Like you can only send your club once from all the special cards you've saved up like I did for Dino, turning in flashback Ramos and Mane and some of those cards that I've had for months. I turned them all into Dino. Now to do Zidane, it's going to be a lot more difficult, right? Well, that actually may not be the case because think about what's coming this Friday. Now, I know we've mentioned it as well already, but new cards are coming in as the best of re-release. And we've got some SBCs here that might end up getting a lot cheaper and easier to complete with that being the case. First of all, the 84 times 10 and the 85 times 10 both require a team of the week or a team of the season or a tots moments, I think also works for this. If team of the season and team of the season moments cards are going to be in packs as a part of batch three, you're going to be packing those left, right, and center. And it's going to make these SBCs a lot easier to do. Number one, team of the seasons are higher rated for an 87 rated squad for 84 times 10. You put in a 91 or a 92 tots card. Boom. That's a player way higher than the rating. And it suffices for the tots player that you have to have to get this done. You fill in the rest of the squad with some other special cards from impacts like 88s, 89s, and then some 84. 85s 86s and boom you've got an 84 times 10 done it's going to kick back on a lot of higher rated players as well maybe a team of the season or two or three that you can craft back into this upgrade pack and then save some of the others 
for crafting the squads of Zidane. So the 84 and the 85 times 10, I think, getting cheaper this weekend make the potential for crafting a Zidane SPC a lot higher. And I think you're going to be able to get it done for cheaper just by grinding through the 85 times 10s. And of course, the 85 times 10s right now are not that hard to even get from having little to no fodder in your club because, of course, we've got the daily bronze, daily silver, and daily gold upgrades, which, guys, they're not going anywhere. Eight days, 15 days left on the gold upgrade. Still a lot of time on this one. And, of course, we talked about it. The footies crafting upgrade still has 15 days left on it as well. A lot of time right now to be crafting and to building up fodder in your club if you've got bronze and silver players in that way to get fodder to do as a Don SBC. So there's a lot of potential for a, a card like this um, and to be able to craft it in this next week with what is coming out. Now, when's this going to drop? It has to be Friday. It has to be, right? Dino, Roberto, Carlos, Rooney, big icons dropped on Fridays. This one probably is going to be ended up dropped tomorrow. I would imagine, of course, who knows? EA could have something else up their sleeve, but that will be the expectation for the Zidane. Now, it's a lot of talk about him, but he deserves every single minute of it because Zidane, what a player, what a card in FIFA. Del Piero is also leaked as another cover star icon to be dropping as well. And this is going to be a sleeper insane card. This Del Piero is going to have something that his other card earlier on this year from Trophy Titans was missing out on. And that's a bit of pace. I think they're going to give this Del Piero card, again, 93, 94, 95 pace would be awesome. And it would make this card so, so good. He's already five star, five star. He's got almost maxed out dribbling and shooting, and it will be probably maxed out on this new version that it could be getting as a cover star. And the best thing is, he's probably going to be a lot more affordable than a Zidane will be. Now, I don't know when this is going to come out. It might be a Saturday, might be a Sunday, maybe even into next week. Who knows? But I'd have to imagine that this card would be a lot more reasonably priced, maybe somewhere along the lines of like Jabi Alonso, which I would say, again, a lot of you guys may agree too. Jabi Alonso definitely isn't cheap. He's eight squads, some higher rated ones in there. I think he's like 600K. I hope Del Piero is cheaper than that, but I could see EA pricing him there. Now, I think for a lot of people to really want to do a Del Piero card, it's going to have to be like 300K for it to be like, wow, OMG, insane. I got to get this Del Piero done. But for 500K, again, more craftable through 85 and 84 times 10s, plenty of other rewards from objectives that you can get fodder from. That's going to be an insane card. I've always loved Del Piero. He's always pretty good in FIFA. And uh, yeah, five star, five star. It might be our end game Del Piero card. Maybe 97, hopefully 98 rated, of course, as Trophy Titans was a 95. So I would expect to see Zidane first, unless they're going to drop Del Piero today on a Thursday. Wouldn't expect that um, the, with the way the leaks have gone. I bet Del Piero is going to be in the weekend, maybe even as a part of next week's content. But those are two massive cover star icon leaks, which make me even just a little bit more excited about what is coming on Friday. Now, in terms of that, we still don't really have any news or information or even leaks about, at least right now at this time, what's going to be impacts on Friday. We don't know. There's no loading screen. There's no news or leaks. No pack code that's been added. Could they still re-release footies cards? Yes. Could they put new footies cards in? They could do that as well. And at the same time, what are they going to do for the best of batch, right? We're talking about team of the seasons and stuff like that. Obviously, that's what seems to be the choice that EA would go with. Team of the season cards and packs, maybe some shapeshifter cards and packs as well. Probably both of those. We're expecting that, but we don't have any concrete information or leaks about that just yet. Hopefully, we get some more today. Now, speaking of today, once again, XP. Guys, make sure you check the objective section today at content because... We should be getting a footies week, what is it now, week five? Yeah, footies week five XP objective set, which will probably include the same thing we've had in the past couple weeks with like the team of the year honorable mentions, Harry Kane. We had the Kavicha last week where we had to play six, win eight, score in 10. Now we've had every top five league covered by a player. Think about it, Lewandowski, Lacazette, Harry Kane and Kavicha. Bundesliga is that fifth top five league that has not been represented yet. There might be a Bundesliga player as a part of this today. So if you want to take a risk, you know, a guy like Timo Werner, maybe Julian Brandt, who knows? There's a lot of, it's been attackers too, right? A lot of attackers in the Bundesliga that EA could use today for this objective. But regardless, unless you're going deep into the weeds there trying to speculate who it might be, we're going to get some XP today, guys. And with, I think, 3,000 XP dropping each week, which each with each one of these objective sets, 
everybody who was on level 37 and above, which is actually a lot of people in this game right now that have been collecting the XP to get all the way up as fast as they can to get this level 40 Vinny Jr. card, or if you're really crazy, taking a one of five player pick, which I would not recommend when this card is here. Today will be the first day in Ultimate Team that people should be able to get this Vinny Jr. 98 rated end game card. Maxed out dribbling, insane pace, shooting, passing, like what a card this is. Of course, when the season first dropped, we were all like, wow, we got to get to level 40, get this Vinny card. It's going to be game breaking and he should be available today if the XP is released like it has been in the past few weeks. So that's absolutely crazy. Um, if you're almost there, GG's. I mean, shoot, if you're going to get Vinny today, uh, hats off to you. Applause to you because you have been grinding this season in August, the XP. I have fallen behind. I have literally, my carries for the season XP are very, very low. Maybe I won't even hit level 40 this time. It's not looking like I need 21k XP. I'm behind for sure. I don't even know. But for those of you guys that have been keeping up with it, if you've been going after that mini card, Today might be the day where you get it, but for sure in the next couple of days, more and more people will be completing the XP as it gets dropped out in the game to get that Vinny card. What a day for FIFA and content today with that. Now, other things that could be coming out today as well, Thursday content as always, marquee matchups, no surprise there. It's going to bring some supply to the market as it usually does. Probably going to drop some prices on other certain areas of the market too. And also what could come out with that today uh, is that 99 rated passing center mid, as we mentioned before. Not sure how we got Angel Gomez yesterday. EA is going against their normal run of form here. Maybe we get that 99 passing or 99 physical center mid today. Have to watch out for that. And then of course today it's Rivals Day. Let's talk about the market just a bit, especially with fodder because the last couple of Thursdays, like we have this week, we've had the Rivals objective, which brings more supply to the market on Rivals Rewards Thursdays because people are taking the tradable packs, guys, because think about it, all the specials that are in packs, you know, people are selling those cards, they are making some coins, and the last few weeks on Thursdays, Team of the Seasons, Team of the Week cards, fodder in general, has dropped off pretty significantly, actually, at Division Rivals Rewards because people are packing those cards or getting fodder and going out and doing the tradable tots and team of the week SBCs. Now I would say for today, watch team of the weeks closely and team of the seasons closely because there could be opportunities to quick flip with those today and to get team of the weeks and team of the seasons at a very low price. But for me, I'm going to be looking to offload a few of my team of the week and team of the season cards because again, as we mentioned earlier this week, if team of the seasons get dropped back into packs, I would definitely expect some of their prices to decrease. Even with all the SBCs that are out, 33K for Todd's cards right now. Let's say EA put like 20, 30, 40 of them in packs. There's probably going to be 200 players in packs, guys, for best of batch three. We had 100 in batch one, 150 in batch two. We could be seeing 200 in batch three. So I would say a lot of that would be made up of team of the season cards. If I had TOTS cards, I would be looking to maybe cash those out just to keep it safe because all TOTS cards could end up being 25K here in the next day or two throughout this weekend, depending on how many of those get re-released back into packs. So that's what I'm thinking today. Fodder is going to take a hit. Again, as we mentioned yesterday, there was a little bit of a spike, not even too crazy of one. Uh, and there could be a bit of a spike today after Rivals, like you could see a dip at Rivals Rewards and then a spike up later on. But once again, as we almost see every single Thursday on this game, once we get to the marquee matchups time frame, you'd see a definite drop off on prices. As you can see here, look, Thursday, last week, on Wednesday, in forums for 89 raids, this Delict was 33,000 coins. As we get into Thursday with Rivals Rewards, he drops down, down, down. He's about 30,000 coins. And at content, a couple hours after content, he goes all the way to 25K last week before rising up on Friday into Saturday when informs are very in demand again. And then he got really, really low last Monday, of course. But I would expect to see a dip in prices on informs and uh, team of the season cards and just fodder in general today. Now, also for footies cards, because they're in packs too. If you're like, Nate, I really want to buy like a footies Coutinho, or I really want to buy footies David Alaba. When should I be looking to pick up one of these cards? Again, for me, this really depends on what is EA going to do with 
the stuff getting re-released back into packs. And as right as of right now, we do not know. If EA do release these cards back into packs, uh, they're definitely going to drop, number one, because of panic selling, number two, because of extra supply. So maybe you just wait until we get a bit more information on that front before making a decision. How much is Coutinho right now? Coutinho is around 200,000 coins. That's almost the lowest that he has been, especially for some of the cheaper and lower tier cards and footies. I would expect them to drop a little bit today. So be careful with that. But definitely keep an eye out on the market for a couple things today in terms of the fodder for fluctuations. And, you know, as, as we always often see, if there's a massive SBC that is released, like if we do get a 99 passing centerman today, whoever it may be, if it's an emotional player, and if it's a card that people maybe need one or two other players to get into their team to link, or it will help other players link, and it's a very popular SBC, you could always watch out for some link investments to those players moving on the market a little bit as well so thursday today as well make sure you get qualified up for weekend league make sure you get uh, all those games in and complete your draft grind because i think the draft objectives might be going away pretty soon as well um just because that was all a part of this week footies draft yeah you got one day left to get the gakpo card i'm probably not going to finish this one off either but that is kind of there for the taking as we get close to the end of this week and into one of the last week of, of footy. So we'll be watching for loading screens today. We'll be watching for information and news. If EA dabble something out there, dribble something out there and tell us a little bit more about what could be coming today on Thursday and even tomorrow on Friday as a part of footy's week five. I call it team five, bat, best of batch three. Not really sure what to call this. We'll call it footy's week five. But that's all for the video today. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. See you guys in a Twitch stream today. That link is in the description if you want to check us out there. See you guys there. It's been Nate Foot Account. We'll catch you guys there. Peace out.